Hey, my name is Taylor and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited to be part of the fun in the summer teacher tag. This was created by Mary Ellie over at Pencils and Magic Wands. So thank you for making this teacher tag and letting us all join in. <laughs> Question number one, what is your favorite thing about summer? Well, like majority of the other teachers, my favorite thing is being able to sleep in, to not have an alarm, to not have any reason to get up super early in the morning. I can stay up late, I can sleep in however late I want, I can eat whenever I want to go pee whenever I have to go pee. The freedom is amazing. <laughs> Question number two, how do you spend your summer days? Well, I start off by sleeping in, which is magical, and then I just kind of lounge around in the morning. I'll drink my tea and eat my yogurt, take my time, watch a movie or whatever TV show I'm watching. Then I'll try to get a good workout in because that is a major highlight over summer. After that, I really like spending time with my family, so I'll usually go visit my mom, dad, brother if he's in town, and just spend the day by the pool. I also really like being able to go visit my other friends that live all over the state. Because during the school year, it's really hard to just go all the way to San Francisco for a weekend, knowing I have to come back on Monday and be like ready to go. Because after those trips, I end up pretty exhausted. So now is the time when I get to go visit my friends in like LA, San Diego, San Francisco. Me and my girls normally do a trip to like Vegas or Palm Springs. So this is when I get my little travel bug out. Number three, what are your go-to summer activities or places to visit? So pretty much my main go-to summer activity is just lounging in the pool. Where I live, it is super hot, so you pretty much gotta be inside or in the pool, otherwise you're having a heat strip. One of my favorite go-to places to visit is SLO, San Luis Obispo. I went to college there for a couple years, so I really like to go back and hang out at Avila Beach and see a couple of my friends that are still there and just really enjoy walking around in the cool weather where it's still sunny and warm. So yeah, definitely go there a couple times during the summer. Which dives right into question number four. Pool or beach? This really just depends because, well, if I lived at the beach, it would be the beach. The ocean waves, the sand, Everything about it is just so relaxing, but I don't really like getting in the ocean. It kind of scares me a little bit. Which brings me to the pool. So since I don't live by the beach, but I do have a pool, I can go swimming anytime I want. I don't have to worry about sharks. So it just really depends on are we doing the realistic thing, preferred thing, am I wanting to swim, am I wanting to sunbathe? I am truly happy with either or. <laughs> oh my, it's this fan. Number five, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Well, let me just tell you. I love mint and chip, but when I'm feeling extra chocolatey, my all-time favorite is Baskin Robbins Gold Metal Ribbon. It's got vanilla and chocolate with caramel swirl. It is amazing. It's been my childhood favorite for as long as I could remember. Number six, what is your favorite summertime song? I can't even choose a favorite summertime genre. This goes from like, Paradise City, Guns N' Roses, to like Sugar Ray, some 90s throwbacks, Odessa, uh, all of it, I love all of it. Number seven, favorite summertime movie. I do not have a favorite summertime movie, but I've noticed that a lot of really good movies always come out during summer. So I've already seen Aladdin, that was top on my list, and I am so happy about it. I also really liked Book Smarts, and I can't wait to see Rocket Man. Um, what's another one? Oh, Lion King is coming out in July. I'm a big Disney fan in case you couldn't tell. Oh, yesterday, the one about the Beatles. I love the Beatles. So I'm super excited to watch that one. So yeah, I would say those are my favorite movies that I'm looking forward to watching this summer. Number eight, what are your Netflix summertime viewing plans? I just finished Chernobyl, which was dark and gloomy, but it was awesome. I recently watched Someone Great and Murder Mystery, both way better than I expected, so highly recommend. I'll probably rewatch The Office or Gilmore Girls at some point. I have to see Bohemian Rhapsody because I haven't seen that yet and I've been dying to see it. The OA also came out with a season two that I haven't gotten to catch up on yet. Me and my family started Dark. It's kind of like the German Stranger Things. I've been watching Lucifer, so I need to finish that. 
Love the sense of humor. I also heard the assassination of Gianni Versace was super good, so I'll probably add that on my list too. Sounds like I already got a solid list going. Number nine, which books are on your summer reading list? I had a really good friend of mine suggest Teaching with Love and Logic, so that's top of the list. I also need to do a lot of third grade reading because I am moving from first grade to third grade, and in grade school and high school, I didn't like reading a whole lot. I pretty much did whatever I could to get out of it. So normally all the books that I would have an idea of, of what I really liked in third grade, I don't have that. Third grade books I heard were really good were Bridge to Terabithia, What the Moon Saw, and The Wild Robot. So I'll probably check those out. I also have my big old book, It, that I said I was gonna finish last summer, and I didn't. So hopefully I'll finish that this summer. Mm -hmm. Number 10. What are your essential must-haves for summer break? Well, sunglasses, that's for sure. Not your mother's beach babe hair thing. So when you get out of the pool, you have some nice curls rather than just like super flat hair. Love this. Sundresses. I love sundresses. They're just easy to put on, comfy, cozy. Mm -hmm. Also, Netflix is a must. With that goes PJs or my comfy blanket. Number 11, do you have any teacher goals or plans that you want to accomplish over the summer? Well, like I said, I'm moving from first grade to third grade. So really diving deep into those third grade standards, getting any outside resources that I might need. Also, like I said, the books I'm gonna be reading this summer are going to be third grade based so I can figure out what I want to do for my read alouds. Big one that I want to get done is my third grade fluency folders. That way they're all set to go when the school year starts. Other than that, I'm just focusing on my YouTube page and Instagram stuff. So that's about it. Number 12. What am I doing? Number 12. Or is it this way? Number 12. Do you have any professional development plans? While I'm doing my own research and stuff for third grade, to come July, I am going to different conferences and meetings with other teachers and yeah. So not too much, really just trying to relax and lay low this summer because last summer I feel like I worked a lot and the summer flew by and I didn't really get too much of a break before going back, which I realized wasn't a good idea. So I'm really trying to just like lay low and relax and let my brain shut off and calm down a little bit. Number 13, when do you start prepping to go back to school slash when is your first day back? About mid-July, things will start kind of clicking and turn on again. And I'll be jumping into that research and conferences and all of that stuff. And I think meetings, our first day back, is like the 16th or 17th, and kids come back August 20th. Number 14, describe your perfect summer day. My perfect summer day is pretty much what I've been doing, which is sleeping in, lounging around and watching Netflix, then going and hanging out with family, swimming in the pool. So happy to say I've been having Perfect summer days. Last one, number 15. So what are three words that describe your summer? I would say relaxing, recharging, and spontaneous. All right, so those are all 15 questions. Thank you for letting me join this teacher tag. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And go watch the other teacher's videos because they are awesome.